Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna teach you guys today how to use Voice Beginner Banana to better your streams. So you can have um, it go into your stream, you can have it go into your music, you can have uh, your VOIP such as Curse, TeamSpeak, Skype, whatever. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that today and make it where uh, it'll be editable, easy for you to edit things. And let's just go yeah. ahead, this is what it's gonna look like. And in your first look, it's just gonna be like, man, that's a bot. And then so I'm just going to show you guys the page to give these guys credit because they're awesome. Voice Meter Banana. You don't don't mistake Voice Meter Original for Voice Meter Banana because Voice Meter Banana is much more advanced. And this is what you want to go download. And might I add that you may want to get the pro version, which gives you the cable A. Um, let's see if I can find it on here. Cable A. It doesn't show it on here. So you can get the cable A outputs and you can get cable B output. You wanna have your playback as voice meter input because everything that you're gonna be putting inputting into this program is gonna go out the voice meter output and that's what you're gonna send to your VOIP or something like that. So jumping into it, you're gonna have three hardware outputs uh, set here. I just right click it and named it. Uh, I have mine Yeti mic because that's what I have. So you would click right here, go to WDM Ye Mi Blue Yeti USB audio device. And then I have that set to A1 because A1 is my hardware out, which is my front jack audio technica, which is everything that's coming through these headphones right here. So that's what I want. So everything I'm hearing, um, some people prefer not to hear themselves speaking right now. Like if I do this, I can't hear a single word that I'm saying. Well, I can, but like, you know, it's inside your head. But <laughs> anyways, I like to hear like what my sound is sounding like. So I just, I put that there. And then, uh, so that's just a personal preference, whatever. And then I'll teach you guys a little bit about this. This is interesting. I like this part about it. If I go up here, uh, I, I get louder and I have an echo. If I go over here, I sound like I'm in a grocery store. I like clean up on aisle three, clean up on aisle three. If I go down here, I sound like I'm doing like a radio show or something like that. But for my Blue Yeti, I found that this area is right here. It's pretty much the best for my Blue Yeti. And so you just want to go ahead and have that set to B1 and B2 uh, for your virtual outputs because these are these two right here, B1 and B2, which are your virtual. And you have A1, A2, A3, which are your physical, which were these hardware outputs up here. All right, so I'll get more into that later. Uh, but right now, B1 and B2, just, just trust me. And then for your communications, this is what you're going to be with your Skype team speak uh, curse discord anything um, you want to have your cable a which is that uh, premium edition uh, output that I said that that you need to get so I just you click here select cable a output uh, go away please you're annoying all right there we go cable a output and then you don't want to have any echo on your friend's voice because this is what your friend's voice is going to be outputting through and so you want to hear your friend's voice so you have that set to a1 so you can hear it through your headset but you don't want your friends to hear themselves which is going to be on b1 we're going to have your stream set to b2 and we're going to have uh like your voip for your voice output for anything such as like well, pretty much you're only going to really be using your output for your VOIP and your aux, which is uh, this right here for your B2. So B2 is what you're going to have it set it to. And moving on to music, we have the VB Audio Cable B, which is the other, these two cables right here are the ones that come with the Pro Edition. So I suggest to donate whatever you feel is great for you. Uh, I have it set to my music. I have that set to my headphones so I can hear it. If you don't want to listen to it, just simply kick lock, click off. Um, you don't want your friends to hear your music, so have that unclicked from B1. B2, uh, if you want your stream to hear it, go ahead. If not, unclick it. It's really not that hard. We have the desktop audio over here, which is Voice Meter Vio, which this is going to be your virtual audio output, which is B1. And then this is going to be your stream, which is your another virtual audio output, but it's the virtual aux output b2 and so that's what these master selection is going to be right here b1 b2 all right now we got that out the way this is going to be where most of your sounds come through so like desktop and stuff like that 
uh, desktop, anything like notifications or anything, A1 is going to be coming. Uh, that's where desktop uh, voice meter by is. That's why you're, you have your playback set to input and everything is going to be pushing out of your output. So I hope that makes it simple in layman terms. Uh, and then so that we have to set this to B2 because you want your stream to hear your game sound and stuff like that. But you don't want to have it set to B1 because you don't want your friends to hear your game sound. That's a problem I had when I first started using this. And that's why like my stream the other day wasn't very good. But moving on from that, I have set this to stream because this is what my stream is going to be hearing. It's not that hard. <laughs> I had this set to A1 because this is what I want to go to my headphones again. B2, this is what my stream is going to be coming out of, is B2. So my stream is going to be listening to. All right, so how do we get our voices into Curse, such a thing as Curse? Well, for any VOIP, it's pretty much going to be the exact same. We're going to go to audio here, and then for like your microphone, you're going to, this is what I was talking about. You're going to want to have your voice meter output which is VB audio voice meter VIO output. Notice I said output, not input. Output is this B1 right here. This is why you have the only your microphone set to B1. So their output can go to that as your microphone because that's why you have everything set up as you do. And your speakers and your headphones, yeah, it may sound stupid, but you're going to have an input in it. And this is where that cable A input comes in. So cable A input you're going to have uh, set as your speakers and headphones and that's when your friends come through right here I didn't even notice that was in the background that's where your friends should come through right here this is cable A output you have cable A input right here why did I exit out of that you have cable A input right here so it's, it's that easy that's for every VOIP not kidding speakers cable A input Microphone, voice meter, VIO, in, uh, output, sorry, excuse me, output, output. Let me specify that, output. That's extremely important. That's extremely important. All right, and so then we're going to go ahead and move on to, um, like, comms here. Uh, well, music here. Well, I have a voice meter equal 5 pro. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple thing. I like it because you can play your music here and then this is what's great about it. You can, by default, Spotify cannot um, have anything to do with uh, playback. You, you can, can't do anything with playback. If I click right here, see it doesn't do anything and you can adjust it anywhere. So this is what this little plugin right here and good little equalizer of so I'm told. You have cable B input, which is that other Pro Edition cable, and then that's where your cable B input's going to go into. Guess what? VB Audio cable B. So you guys see see the similarities here, as you can tell. And then moving on next to stream, how is your stream going to hear this, Narwhal? Well, I will show you how your stream is going to hear this. We are going to go into OBS here, and we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to audio. And notice this just looks completely redundant. Just uh, mic auxiliary audio device. So you're going to have your voice meter aux output. VB audio voice meter aux VIO, which is that virtual input, which is B2 here. So everything coming into B2, which should be your stream sounds, your desktop, your music if you want to, your communications if you want to, but I highly suggest that because you don't want to be talking to yourself. And your microphone is all going to be outputting into this one aux output. And so that there will solve all of your problems or whatever. Now, I may say that this does take some time adjusting. I still haven't got mine uh, edited all the way where it needs to be perfect, like game sound. Uh, sometimes you have a little bit more case-to-case uh, -case scenarios. Same with communications with your friends. You may have to constantly adjust that before you start streaming. Uh, I suggest doing a little test or something like that. And then this, I, I just want to uh, um, go into a little bit more detail about this master selection A1 right here. So if I don't want to hear, if I want to adjust the volume of my headset, without you guys noticing, 
I would go to this master selection in A1. See, now if I move this, this slider right here, you guys would be able to hear the volume decrease. But if I don't do anything with that, this specifically goes to my front jack Audio Technica. It's that simple. It's, a, it's amazing. It's great. Uh, that's what I love about this program. This program's awesome. Like, I've done so much, uh, so many great things with this stuff. Um, I'm just going to do a little test on Spotify for you. So, you, you guys should hear this. No, you won't hear it. You should hear it. No, you won't hear it. All right. Well, that's pretty much, guys. Um,. I think that's it for Voice Meter Banana. If this tutorial helped you guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys later. As always, it's the Lucky Narwhal. Bye-bye.